Today I'm going to show you how to use Quadrimesher when using a CAD mesh. So this is a gun that I modeled a while ago for my portfolio. Um, and I'm going to send that over into Blender and uh, we're going to remesh that and give that nice soft edges so that we can bake a nice normal map. I'm going to use the save as mesh function. Okay, now that we've got the mesh imported, I just imported the OBJ um, that we just exported. Uh, and separated the pieces. So now we've got individual pieces that we could go ahead and remesh. Uh, I'm going to add a remesh modifier. Um, I showed this in the previous one. I'm going to apply all transforms just to make sure things are sort of zeroed. Um, and now we're going to look at the wire. So the wire is already pretty high on this actually. So I'm going to try not to go too high on this. I'm going to go, um, let's go 7.5. Um, so you've got to be really careful. Um, I tried to record a tutorial earlier and I used a value that was too low and it just it killed Blender. So um, it's advised to save before attempting any of this. Um, next up is we want a smooth corrective. So we're going to give that a moment. I really should uh, disable this first. There you go. And now that's going to make the settings a lot faster. So I'm going to put this on 25. Only smooth pin boundaries and length weight. Those are all the settings that I use. I'm also going to put this on five um, to give us some more resolution. I'm going to put this on 50 and then I'm going to turn it on. So what's happening is I'm using this as if it's a, um, as if it's a operation. I don't want this to be live. I don't want it to be updating as a modeling. I only want it to compute once if I can. So it's important to bear in mind that every time you adjust one of your other modifiers, it's going to recompute that remesh. So turn it off when you don't need it. And when you want to export your mesh or you want to apply it, that's when you turn it on. Uh, now that we've applied that, we can see here that we've got really soft, nice edges on everything, you know, as if it's, as if it's been processed in a factory and they've sort of rounded off all those really sharp edges and we can check what the wireframe looks like. It's going to be a little laggy, um, but yeah, it's, it's like this. So I can do uh, control A and then uh, visual geometry to mesh. That's just going to do it as it says. It's just going to make everything visual. That's how it mesh will be. So I'm just using that to apply both modifiers at the same time. This is going to take a couple minutes. Um, and then the next step would be to export to ZBrush. I would, I would go along with this route um, for something like this. But yeah, something like that trigger or the piece back here, um, you know, we could we could probably remesh this um, with the quad remesher a lot quicker. Um, you know, that already looks like good shading, so I'm going to collapse it down. Um, oh, uh, first things first, I'm going to shade the object as smooth, and then I'm going to collapse it down. So now we can see that looks pretty good, um, and we can just do this on say. 5,000 uh, or maybe 2,000. We'll see how low it can go. This is looking pretty good to me. You know, now we can sub subdivide that. You know, that looks really good to me. So something like this is ideal situation. Um, see how quick that was. You've got a really nice uh, mesh. And if you want it to be sharper, um, you know, I would just delete this, undo it, bring it back. Uh, and I would do this on, let's try 10,000 and remesh. There we go, done, way higher resolution, add subsurface, and now we've got much sharper edges. So, you know, it's really quick, um, really quick way to work. So there's, there's drawbacks to it, um, but yeah, in the right situation, um, it's a really good way to go. Thanks for watching my remeshing tutorial. My name is Jack Rossiter. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then smash, smash, smash that like and subscribe. Now go for children and remesh the world!